As Dr. Anthony Fauci makes headlines for his efforts to fund experiments on beagle puppies, more evidence is emerging that these kinds of tests have been going on for decades. When America's Pearson Sharp has more, and we do want to warn you, there is some graphic footage of these experiments on beagles. News of Dr. Anthony Fauci's horrific experiments on animals, including beagle puppies, has been making headlines across the nation. But what many people don't realize is that Fauci, using the National Institutes of Health and the National Institute of Allergy and Infectious Diseases, has been conducting these kinds of experiments for decades. For the last 40 years, in fact. One America News spoke with Shannon Keith, the president and founder of Beagle Freedom Project, a nonprofit organization that has rescued and rehabilitated countless dogs that were being tortured by researchers funded by Anthony Fauci. Why is animal testing still going on in this day and age? We work to educate and legislate for change and work towards ending useless and needless animal experimentation because it's just a waste of taxpayer dollars and it's unethical. The NIAID has pushed back against these revelations, but surprisingly has not denied them. In a public response, the agency, which is under Fauci's control, said that all animals used in NIH-funded research are protected by laws, regulations, and policies to ensure the smallest number of subjects and the greatest commitment to their welfare. Meaning, yes, experiments are being done, animals are being tortured, but it's sanctioned by the law, and we're doing our best not to hurt, maim, and murder too many animals. The NIH and the various um, departments within the NIH, like the NIAID, led by, led by Dr. Fauci, um, funds horrific animal testing and has been doing that for decades. Um, so beagles being tortured and abused and used for uh, scientific curiosities, uh, various kinds of testing. Um, this has been going on for a very, very long time. So um, whether it's the testing that has just been leaked um, and exposed um, or any other kind of testing, that's nothing new. This follows more reports that the NIAID is currently funding several similar projects, including giving a total of $5.7 million to Kansas State University for gruesome experiments infecting beagles with mutant bacteria from ticks. Experiments set to continue until the year 2024. Shannon explains that Anthony Fauci, as the director of the NIH, has the power to put an end to these monstrous programs, but has chosen to continue funding experiments that torture animals. So Dr. Fauci oversees the NIAID. The NIAID funds these tests, funds horrific animal testing. Therefore, he's directly responsible for these tests. Whether or not he actually signed off on specific tests or his hands are bloody from those tests, he is directly responsible, period, and therefore the blood is on his hands. They are performing these horrific experiments on animals that don't actually help human beings whatsoever. Even the head of PETA, a historically left-leaning organization, called for everyone in charge of the NIH to resign after this disgrace. But Shannon explained the only real way to create change is to get the attention of lawmakers on Capitol Hill and force them to put an end to these cruel experiments. And already, a number of leaders like Senator Rand Paul, along with two dozen others in Congress, have written a letter to Anthony Fauci demanding an explanation for the inhumane research. We need a federal bill to end animal testing. We have a petition on our website at bfp.org to get that going. If we get thousands of people supporting us, um, we can actually get this moving. Uh, the industry has, the animal testing industry has a lot of power and that's because of people like Dr. Fauci, like Dr. Collins, like the NIH. And if we can get people on board and we can get a bill going, we actually have a chance. There are animals suffering like the animals you're seeing images of who have no voice and we need to speak out for them. Ultimately, Dr. Anthony Fauci is responsible for these atrocious experiments. And until he stopped, this appalling abuse of animals will continue. Pearson Sharp, One America News. Want to see more videos like this? Visit OANN.com for immediate access to all the clips you've been waiting to see.